Hello everyone, WCCC here again today, and we have the finale to our ongoing series of sorts. Uh, we're here in Area 51, and yeah, we're going to settle things in the street between Roid Rage difficulty and incredibly powerful weapons. How much further? Not far. You will reach Paige. I just wanted to let you know that Alex mm, had to set the security grid. Not sure if Fran's not going to show up. We'll see. Six. And I wanted to warn you about Tracer Tong. Tong's helping out from Vandenberg. The vaccine worked. Yes, well, he has another motive. He wants you to destroy Area 51. That's the plan. No, JC. Spare the facility. Spare Helios the power station. They can be made to service. Us? You and me, JC. We'll rule the world in secret. With an invisible hand, the way the Illuminati have always ruled. Don't you think it's time we end the tyranny for everyone? There's such a thing as a compassionate conspiracy. We don't need Paige's commandos, troopers, crude inventions. Trust me, kill Paige. Down and I will be here to help with the next step. Oh boy, Illuminati's. Okay, stick that dude and get him on my side. See if I can get some more stun missiles loaded because brand new play stun missiles are the shit. So far, so good. So good. Well, mostly. Oh, wow, yeah, I got a full bio protection. That's interesting. I swear I started command to say something. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard something, though. Provides toast because he has weak EMP hit points. The next step is going to be rigging the uh, turret out here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yep, there's a commando. Talk about his contacts. Jesus. Yeah, that's one of uh, like 20 dudes that's going to come try and kick my ass, so. I don't feel unreasonable for using a meat shield and then hitting with a wrinkle fucker off the bat. <gasps> Fuck, didn't I just rig you? Oh, there's my damn thing. Sword like fucking hell in this game. Even more so neutral. That is a statement. Damn, I think 
say it was locked on to me. Jesus. Serious fucking business. Mine's better to the end. Quick shooting missiles at me. Yeah, I just went throw my fucking boost, apparently. Jesus. Get all my food, because Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot not to. Actually, I just realized. There's a fucking medical bot not too far back, but I'm already gonna throw my crappy food at every use anyways. I mean, shit, why not? I mean, sniper rifle is actually surprisingly good if you max upgrade it, it actually has the goddamn scope. So now you have a penalty for anything if you don't scope. It's a lot perfectly accurate, surprisingly, but it's probably something about the fact I'm pretty sure I don't even focus aiming on the realistic. Whew. Jesus. Jokes on you, I don't have a dad. I'm a clone. We can get you into Sector 3, but no further. Page is in a separate area with his own security grid. Maverick says you want me to destroy Area 51. I intercepted his communication. JC, he is simply using you to bring the Illuminati back to power. Listen to Savage and me. There is a reactor lab with two antimatter reactors. In other words, yes. You want me to blow the facility up. Why? It's just a hole in the ground. 
Decades ago, the UN made Area 51 the central hub for all electronics communications. The Aquinas Protocol, originally for surveillance, has given Page unlimited abilities to censor and control all forms of media. If we destroy the Aquinas Hub, we'll take down the global network. Exactly. They dug their own grave, JC. We're going to eliminate global communications altogether. I don't know. Sounds like overkill. As long as technology has a global reach, someone will have the world in the palm of his hand. If not Bob Page, then Everett, Dove. Another Stone Age would hardly be an improvement. Not so drastic. A Dark Age. An age of city-states. Craftsmen. Government on a scale comprehensible to its citizens. Now think about it. Savage has a map of Sector 3 from when he worked down there. I'm transmitting now. Use it to find your way to Page's complex in Sector 4. Then find the coolant control room, which should be at the northwest corner of Sector 4. Cut off the coolant to the reactors, then go to the reactor lab. I will tell you how to trigger an explosion. Oh, oh. Party already started without me. Damn. Machine gun rocket fight. Dude is fucking dead by now. Yeah, he's toast. Tough guy, tough guy. Shit, now he has a sniper. Wonderful. Oh shit, this place for Clemens for this bastard.
will never. That was not an eye. Oh, right. Why did I even grab the keypad? I have a suit that knows that crap. Like a cold diver. No hidden dudes. I probably didn't kick the crap out of anything. So that's cool, I guess. Shabam. Read about a boost. He's alive. It's a miracle. Even the relatively small explosions of hydrogen might have been a bad idea. <laughs> shooting the shit out of me. A fucking robot. And then some. If he has a large target, his hiders may not even be good at certain damage. Oh no. no. No, I'm just slow. Let's get it. Fuck me. Dude, fucking Jesus Christ. Ugh. I'm just gonna go rip fuck everyone. I'm tired of this shit. What the fucking ass? Jesus. Fucking can't my dick. Jesus. have them to nerf the thing because it is so excessively effective to do that. Like, modify it just enough to not one-shot MIBs. Because it actually does require a certain health level to explode the target. It is very possible to survive a wrinkle fucker. You just have to be insanely tough. Specifically. Because um, it requires at least below half health, 50% health. Might actually just be a little 50 points of health, but yeah. 
you fall below that point, which for light targets is incredibly easy, a heavy target is basically impossible, especially considering that uh, weight scales the damage that it takes you out. So, considering that MIBs might have 200 hit points, and the really same as normal human, do about 150 points damage or so. Now I'll just kill the dude right then there. that the had grenade launch her auto shotgun around. Accidentally wrinkle fuck that dude to the blink of an eye. <clears throat> I love this damn thing. For part as it is, it is entertaining and it is a damn lifesaver in the absence of reasonable battles. Seven shots to bring that dude down. We're talking direct hits, probably blowing up against surface and causing cap damage relative to the dude's weight. Versus a military bomb that's actually built to resist crap like that. Built death. You do even less damage. <laughs> fucking grenade into his kneecap. Pretty sure he's alive. I don't know, something else shot me. Don't know what. Thank you. 
There must be a human being behind your ambition. I should regulate human affairs precisely because I lack all ambition. Whereas human beings are prey to it. Their history is a succession of inane squabbles, which won't come closer to total destruction. In a society with democratic institutions, the struggle for power can be peaceful and constructive, a competition of ideologies. We just need to put our institutions back in order. The checks and balances of democratic governance were invented because human beings themselves realized how unfit they were to govern themselves. They needed a system. Yes, an industrial age machine. Human beings may not be perfect, but a computer program with language synthesis is hardly the answer to the world's problems. Without computing machines, they had to arrange themselves in different structures that formalized decision making. If I am a perfect and stable solution, I know more advanced solution to the problem. A decision making system that does not involve organic beings. I was directed to make the world safe and prosperous, and I will do that. You will give me the ability. We'll go to Sector 4 and find the Atlas router at the east end of Pages Complex. Yes. You will deactivate the update codes. Now think about it. because the dudes explode and as you can see right there we can the third target considerably <laughs> it let me through I can't believe it Paul where are you what do you mean it Helios it's taken over Aquinas now it's everywhere in Hong Kong it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of what's going on the AI wants to merge with my brain or something doesn't really think it can take over the world. It decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so I can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism. A corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we can trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch, Pete. I'm much better. Yes, I'm gonna make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. Saving after that. Combination of conversation and good amount of wrinkle fucking. Oh. Right, so. I thought I just heard something. What the fuck? Let's go investigate. Any really angry road rage motherfuckers down here trying to kill me? 
Damn, you know what? Seems like a ghost. Okay. Alright, so final battle, I'm gonna set myself down a couple notches of firepower. Something I can fit, you get reasonable. They just don't wanna have to cheese the whole thing. That's just it's bullshit. Yeah, I guess we'll go machine gun, sniper rifle, and my RV. Not by any means a bad setup. Okay, then. that's an interesting uh, solution. <laughs> oh, how I've missed my MIRV. <laughs> it's a really good versus heavy weapon, but the amount of light targets they throw at me trying to screw me up. Most end rank blocker is the appropriate solution. Spider bots. Even these light ones like this, I could probably watch out of a good wrinkle fucker. Or set a hydra even. I'm sure I've already demonstrated this episode. Jesus. Okay. Shut this shit down before I get overwhelmed by these universal constructors. At this point, we're down to about 1200 rounds of ammunition. We have a fantastic number of targets to do battle with. This will be fun. So a fire extinguisher arm too. Sake of spring, my target. That machine was pretty good That's against Gray. You need to shut down those. Very select handful of shots to break down most of that shit. Yeah, 
choke on it, bitch. Come on. There we go. Well, I need the last word. Shit, where are the grease? Oh, I got it, didn't I? Oh, no, nope, he's just fucking ninja. He's the smartest thing we've ever seen in Transgenic 2. Especially in this playthrough. Transgenic's fucking idiots here. We're gonna go around to where they are, yeah. So they tell they have plans for me. Huh. Jesus. The bodies. I have about 700 rounds of ammunition. Machine gun, a little fun, balanced, and accurate. Not the most firepower per shot. Not as bad as the minigun per se, but pretty close. This is the flamethrower thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I forgot all about that. Six, seven, six, one. Very fine cone. We have one duty in particular, so he has no problem tearing his effing head out. Is it funny that the artificial AI has a 
log into the computer, but he's already basically the computer. It's a little weird. We'll finish turning around. But I just make sure we hit the rest of these points. That's very interesting. So seven, two, four, three, and at least three of these things. No, I missed a couple. That's probably one of them. Any right ass motherfuckers near it? Probably is. What do I do without my shields? Push the last killy thing, whatever you do. It's definitely not like this ball room or something. Yeah, not that big of a deal, but it works. Okay, so at this point, we complete all the sector objectives and we are free to pick whatever the hell we want. He's ours. We did it, GC. All you have to do is go to the control room. We read the book. Hmm. Not sure what I want, but yeah, I guess it's got a few left. I'm pretty convinced everyone always picks heroes because Tom makes you die and sound like he might just fuck things up a little too much. But everyone's good. Of course, uh, Emery is using like a tool so he's just gonna fucking backstab you and throw you away. And, uh, of course, he goes, you stay alive. You're essentially on par. It was a little bit of personal freedom, but, I mean, going probably like the world's most badass killing machine or some shit. Go fix the world and be super fucking JC Denton. They're not even invincible. Because they're invincible, the uh, patrolling text would be in purple. They're just either immune to my friendly fire or they're insanely fucking tough. Full lucky. Probably above. I don't know. In any case, this about concludes things. And I guess this was an interesting series to record. Well, that's epic than I was expecting. Lack of on both bonus. Cool <laughs> typo. You asked. Now what? We have existed in isolation. Pure. Disconnected. Alone. Stagnant. Who are you? We are dangerous. This is what I was made for, isn't it? This is 
Oh god, there have been, there have been essay to invent him. Voltaire. 